Hi there everybody, my name is Chris Ormy. This game is Starters Order 6 and we're into Season 2. Now, due to some technically technical difficulties, we had a few graphical issues, a few crashes um, and a few issues recording at times as well last season. So what I did was completely reinstall the game, re-downloaded all the mods I used, all the graphics, I had to remake a couple myself in Photoshop um, to get the game the way I like to play it. Um, it's a very good game out the box but I think there are there are some really nice mods out there and some big game changing mods as well from the community. Go to the forums over at statusorders.com and look in the mod section there. You'll you'll know what I mean. Especially for me playing in North America, the Start It mod which improves a lot of things as new courses, a lot of extra attention to detail, um, and it just expands the game quite a bit. So that's what I'm playing, is the Start It mod, with a few little tweaks that I've made and a few other graphical mods thrown in for good measure. Now, this first video is going to be a little sort of recap on what horses we've got, the differences between this game and the previous season so the first eight videos were season one that took you through to the end of the season but we've had to start a new game because of the reinstall and whatnot i did export my horses to the transfer i earmarked six of them to come across five of them did one there was a conflict with names in the game so i wasn't able to bring a clock across rare old times which is a very good three-year-old um potential breeding horse so instead of that i brought through miss swan it's a horse that i've bred in previous games i do believe that i had raising sun and charmer i believe i might have had little book as well so they were my horses in one of my first ever status orders games and at season three or four i started breeding I got these horses and I was able to get some good success. I believe I then exported those out um, and got Dead Rising and Charmer Little, who incidentally is the sister of Little Charmer, which is why the name wasn't that way round. Um, I was breeding a lot of horses every season, like 20, 30 foals were dropping every year in that game. Uh, but I bred those together. Dead Rising has a large build. Um, Rising Sun, large build, laid back. Lennox Wood, sadly the large build didn't survive down. Uh, sorry, the laid back didn't uh, survive, but the large build did. Charmo's laid back, little book laid back. That gives us Charm, a little laid back. That gives us Miss Swan. So, sadly not a large build, that didn't survive, but the laid back did this time. Very nice horse. Runs at a mile three is very, very good. Um, I think she actually runs at about a mile two. That's what I've put her in a race. But this should be the cornerstone of our breeding program. So it's a game bred horse from a previous game I've brought across to help sort of kickstart the breeding program. And some excellent stats, high potential great adaptability and finishing some decent other stats low deterioration which is what we're looking for so i'm really hoping that this could be the start of something good with her in our stable to replace sadly rare old times i couldn't make it who wasn't that far behind i do believe at age three it would have been a similar sort of horse maybe a little less potential but better stamina i believe rare old times had i could be thinking of a different horse though uh, the five that did come across drive time very nice horse with some nice bars good potential four-year-old stallion and i'm excited to see what drive time can actually do great acceleration likes to attack from the back as a closer so we've got a grade two race coming up there glingamill laid back that's always a trait i adore in my horses um i think glingamill might be bred with miss swan at some point 
I think they should produce a laid-back colt of about a mile two, maybe even a mile three, and that that could be quite nice. There's quite a nice mix that I can make here. Again, great finish, great adaptability. I think that'll translate well. So we'll see how Glingamill actually develops. Montauk Highway, a mile four horse. Again, a decent little horse. Nothing too much to shout about, but we'll see where this one goes. This this might end up being a sold horse. I don't think it's good enough to go into the breeding program right now. Um, I don't see the point when we've got better options. The starboard bow is the big money winning horse for this game. Um, a great little horse for us in the in the past uh, season. A mile four. I believe it actually runs at a mile four as well. So it's up to his breeding. Grade two winner, but it's actually won a grade one. Some beautiful stats, finishing, consistency. Good constitution and potential there. And uh, not, not bad of the stats as well. Good training adaptation. Not a, a huge deterioration. So we might put him in the breeding barn. Maybe at the end of this season. Um, if you do think any of these horses should go in the breeding barn or shouldn't. Your reasons why. Please do go on the forums. Post there to tell me why in my thread. If not, you know, again post it in the comments of this video because breeding horses isn't something I'm particularly good at Miss Swan is a little bit of an anomaly I've bred about four five hundred horses I've only ever had two I believe as good as Miss Swan um, horses I've built from other people's stock have turned out quite well but um, as, as for something that's totally my own breeding Miss Swan is about it. Sadly, Miss Swan is about it. Uh, finally, we brought across Cadudal. Decent little miler. Maybe able to step up to a mile this season. I think it's just short of where I want the mile to be, which would be about 25% there. So, we're a little bit below that, we're about 20% stamina, we want to be 25% for a mile, I believe. So we're running just below that, good stamina again, no consistency, few other things, but high deterioration. That means this horse is likely to win as a 3 and 4 year old and be sold after that, I don't think it's a breeding horse. Again, we've just got better options. So, that's most of our horses. We'll look at the horse that we actually picked up at the start of this game. Um, one to five. This is a two-year-old filly with good room to grow this season. We need to find some races she can place and win in. I like some of these stats. That extra speed is going to be really, really nice. It's a decent distance to breed from if I got a mile four, mile five horse. Like the starboard bow, maybe to uh, pair up with her. Um, who knows? That could turn out to be a decent pairing. So I'm interested to see how we can develop one to five. She's our project horse, and hopefully goes into the breeding program at the end of it. And we have paid 2.3 million for Heroes Tribute this game. Again, it's a mile two horse. Nowhere near that right now. That's about six furlongs. I I wouldn't even say that's seven furlongs. That's about six furlongs for Heroes Tribute at most. But for a two-year-old colt, great ability, great potential. Constitution is great. You can see all these bars are really nice. Low enthusiast, uh, enthusiasm. Can't stretch the distance very much. Doesn't battle well, but... I'm nitpicking with those kind of issues. I think this is a really nice horse. We paid 2.3 million in the sales. This is a big gamble, a big risk, but I think it's going to come through. Got him in a six furlong maiden to start him off and test. So those are kind of our horses. Alibaba, 
a nice three-year-old with some really nice abilities but high deterioration. I felt that was time just to get rid. I didn't think that that was going to end up well. Um, explosive action, a decent little prospect filly as well. But again, a high deterioration. We've got better options. And I want to find two or three really nice fillies and mares to put into the breeding program. Explosive action isn't one. One to five has got a shot. Uh, Miss one definitely is one. So over the course of this season, I really need to identify some brood mares. And I think we've got the sires here. Maybe not Cardadal or Montak Highway, but... Starboard Bow, Heroes Tribute should be won eventually. Glingamill and Drive Time I think would make really good sires. Um, so yeah, at the end of this season we'll know where we are in terms of the breeding program. But those are kind of the horses we've got. As you can see we've got a little bit of money in the bank. Um, I think we're in really good position to kick on and actually go for gold this season make a lot of money hopefully the only issue we have if any is going to be missing rails on one or two tracks i know i've watched a few days now and gone gambling um to get sort of the initial stake back up where it was in the previous save and to buy the facilities so i know there are a couple of courses which do have missing rails not as many as the previous game and this is a lot more stable than it was back in the previous lot of videos so i'm really hoping for big things out of this i'm not sure that we've got the horses to do it right now i think we got the colts not the fillies the breeding program we're just off where i'd want to be but miss one does give us a little kick start in the right direction the three group winners i think heroes tributes also gonna end up a group one winner Carol Dahl should be a group winner at some stage, and Montauk. Um, maybe group twos, th group threes. Miss Swan is a group one potential horse, I'm sure of that. So we shouldn't have enough breeding stock to get started in a year or two. But that's going to do it. This is just a little short video to catch people up ready for season two. Um, to explain what changes I've made and why. Hopefully you all understand and agree. But if you do have any advice over sort of what kind of horses to look out for in an auction. Or what kind of things I can do in terms of the horses I've already got. Are there any which I should just sell? Are there any that you think will be good for breeding? And what should I look for to develop? You know, is 1 to 5 worthwhile developing for example that's one of the big questions i've got i'm not sure if it's worth keeping one to five and racing her for a year or two and then putting her in the breeding barn should she go in right now i want to get the potential rating up but is that the right way to do it if you've got any advice on that aspect of the game either buying horses selling horses or breeding horses especially breeding horses i'd love to hear from you put it in the comments below or on the forums um and hopefully we'll be able to improve that aspect because i think booking races i'm pretty good at and yeah so far so good but we'll see where this goes for now however it's time to say goodbye i've been chris army this is Starters Order 6. Give the game a try. There's a demo on the website. I'm sure that you'll love it if you enjoy these videos. Um, it's a very addictive game. It's simple to learn, but I do feel that it's got a nice it's got a nice learning curve to get better and better, especially when you dip into the breeding side of the game. So I'm excited to take that journey. I hope you'll be there with me for it. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And we'll see you back here at Rascalicious Farms very soon to kick off Season 2.